We went to the people in February with a manifesto, a manifesto of solutions around housing, around health and around rural Ireland. And they well, trusted fair. us. Well, You're going to slash well, USC. They, they You're going to spend a fortune on health and that. housing. But yeah, they trusted us to do that. But there's no cost. There, there, there was no cost. Of course, there's cost. Well, did you read our alternative budget? Every single Absolutely, year yeah. we have but I also produced know that... an alternative budget that's fully costed. But I, also I am know... fed up listening to this, these lines being thrown away well, about no, Sinn Fein's economic policy. But you see, but you also, see the thing is, uh, we, because you, they work well, and they work for well, people. Here, here, no, I'm sorry, a, a, you need to give me a chance to, to talk. Okay, okay. You well, asked me. Let, let Rose speak. You yes. asked me a question about rural Ireland. We were absolutely dismayed on Saturday for a number of things. First, that we didn't have a, a senior minister appointed, a uh, senior cabinet minister. That gave off a very telling message to rural Ireland that the three parties were turning their backs on rural Ireland. The other thing we saw, the mission, we, we, social protection and rural affairs added on together. We are not a welfare region. We are a region that deserves and needs economic stimulus. We need the infrastructure. What is the point in having a, a concept of a, an Atlantic economic corridor when then it's not underpinned with the investment? The investment in Knock Airport, in the Western Rail Corridor, in the, the other infrastructure from? that we need. Where does the money come from? Uh, what is it, 750 billion from the EU? We get a tiny slice of it again.